What up, y'all? This is Eternal Authenticity Broadcasting Live. Give me a second. I'm putting on my glove again. But yeah, we're doing this video. Like, honestly, I'm going to share. It's like an update. Another health update video of, like, my health from being a vegan. You know, like, I'm in Aries, too. And they say Aries, we're known for, like, like to be the head of the Zodiac. Like, each Zodiac is supposed to, like, represent a different... um characteristic on our body or something like that and i know they say aries we're like known you know to be the brainiacs you know like the head of the zodiac you know representing the head anywhere just from having you know great attraction such as you know our physique or whatever as well as just you know being really starry and nerdy and whatever so i don't know the truth has to be realized okay Anyway, it's like what I've noticed is before I went vegan, stop, come on, stop. Before I went vegan, um, I a lot of times I had sinus problems, you know, like with my nose, a lot of mucus, you know, um, just a lot of mucus. I'm still like that's why I'm ready to go home. I'm walking, I'm finishing up. I'm gonna blow my nose even more so. I feel it running to be honest. But I'm saying like. Way back in the day, way before I was vegan, I was always congested with my sinuses and my nose. And I was always looking to get, you know, those little things, those little spray things to help spray my nose to open up, you know, to relieve the mucus. And yeah, that's all right. It helps sometimes. But like, you know, it's just a it's just a quick fix, to be honest with y'all. It's just treats the symptoms. It's not getting real deep way underneath our cellular membranes and whatnot and solving it and honestly that's what going vegan has helped me to do it's just been like going through like a long draining process you know and that's why like sometimes it's cool because i'm finally breathing come on breathing a whole lot better you know and like y'all can notice it because my voice is a whole lot different they call it maturity puberty whatever (laughs) I call it healing, you know what I'm saying? Because for sure, people have different levels of that, and I'm aware of what I'm doing is working, for real, because you can even notice it from my first video on this page to right now, a huge improvement of growth. You know, people are shocked, you know what I'm saying? Because I've been doing the work. I've been doing the real work of health and wellness, of going out there for all these different type of herbs and everything, various type of herbs and everything. Like, I'm I'm just getting started, too, you know, but I've been doing the work, like, you know, I just, I've been about it, you know what I'm saying? A lot of other people who I thought might be into that, they don't care, you know what I'm saying? They're, you know, they're in the concrete jungle and whatever, they, they live in their life. I'm just saying, I've been doing the research and the investments on me on multiple wellness investments you know and that's not even it i know i'm just getting started i never said oh yeah you know i just have everything figured out you know nah i'm just saying i've been doing the work you know besides just strawberries and grapes you know what i'm saying i'm applying all types of different herbs you know so that's why i'm excited because like when you think about the amazon when you think about the rainforest and the jungle and everything guess what there's no barcodes in there, you know what I'm saying? Like, I get it. It's law of exchange. Money's a tool. Money's a visitor. I understand, okay? I'm just saying, hey, like, a, a big Amazon rainforest jungle, that's going to be a whole lot of plants, a whole lot of life, a whole lot of stuff that ain't all in um, Whole Foods, you know what I'm saying? So, like, that's where some of my inspiration comes. Like, sea moss. Sea moss is in St. Lucia, Lucia. Guess what? I had never heard of that stuff until I went vegan. You know what I'm saying? Sarsaparilla, ginkgo, guaco, dandelion root, burdock root, you know, et cetera, et cetera. The list goes on and on. I'm getting kind of windy. I'm getting a good workout out here. Anyway, it's like, you know, there's a whole lot. Nettle, milk thistle, you know, bilberry, you know, like valerian. You know what I'm saying? There's a lot out there, for real. 
And there's a whole lot more that I'm excited. You know, I'm like a sci- I'm a scientist, an herbalist, scientist, nutritionist, health and wellness coach guy. You know what I'm saying? That's who I am. Like, I enjoy, you know, like me, I'm the type who will get real nerdy and excited to come home to, like, put together some compounds, you know, some herbal supplement compounds or whatever, or to apply them on me or to research on that. You know what I'm saying? And maybe to learn about the cosmos and the stars and stuff like that. That's who I am. I haven't been to the club in a long time. Matter of fact, the last relationship I was in, she invited me out to the club, out to go drink. And initially I said, yeah, you know, but then like (laughs) I meditated and I was on the way to her and, you know, it was, I felt the vibe, you know, it was like a rush, a chaotic vibe. You know, I just had what I had on, you know, and like she was just, concerned, so concerned about what I was wearing. In my head, I already knew what type of people were going to be at this club, very judgmental type of people, you know, just judging people off of what they're wearing or whatever. I had on a polo and some boots and, you know, just an all right outfit. I'm good enough. That's all I had. You know what I'm saying? For real. And I said, we went through, it was like a TV scene almost. It felt like a movie. Like, it felt like it was scripted or something like that. Something was up. Like, it was being recorded low key. I'm not going to overthink about it or anything, but, like, it felt like that low-key because I had to get honest with her. You know, I was like, you know what? I said, yeah, but now I don't want to go no more, you know, because that's honestly not me. I don't drink. You know what I'm saying? I really don't drink. I know I just mentioned in a recent video about vegan champagne or whatever, but, like, honestly, no, I don't. I really don't. You can Anybody can drink. I get it. I don't care. I don't care. You can talk about sports athletes. You can talk about Floyd Mayweather. You can talk about all these people who drink. That's great. That's great. I'm just talking about me. I don't have to drink if I don't want to drink right now, okay? I have a, a long life to live. So I'm sure there'll be plenty of various opportunities to do a whole lot of different stuff. You know, I'm just talking about right now. So get all that comparison and misunderstandings out your head. I'm not coming to beef or argue or anything with anybody, okay? I'm just sharing who I am right now, okay? And I'm not into drinking, honestly. So, yeah, I forgot where I was going with that. But, you know, it just helps out. It helps out when you're able to upload YouTube content, videos. Helps get our mind right helps us to be mindful of what we're speaking literally you know what i'm saying like that's why you know like maybe certain artists or whatever or people on tv or just random regular people their life may be all the way over the top like with a bunch of drama and problems you know very severe and disastrous because of what they're talking about because of what they're consuming because of what they're involved with you know and what I did was just venture out on my own, following my own heart, you know? The universe revealed the secrets to those who did follow their hearts. Shout out to Infinite Water, y'all smart. But anyways, this whole health process has been cool because it's like a detoxification process. Like, I still got to blow my nose, of course. But I'm just saying, like, you know, uh, it's come a long way, you know? And it's kind of like gross in a way to see how much we're detoxing because honestly I feel like we don't just detox overnight people say oh yeah just go to you know this store and get you a you know a one-day cleanse and that's it nah man that don't make no sense at all yeah I, I, I get it we can help and heal I'm sure there's plenty of things that can help contribute to our health the wellness and detoxification process excuse me I'm just saying like you got to put in the work it's just like if you're playing basketball you know, like, if you make a layup or if you just randomly shoot a free throw and you make it, does that mean you're just the best in the world? Does that mean that you're going to, you know, be beating LeBron James and Michael Jordan? No, it doesn't, especially if that's your first shot ever. No, you just made it. That's cool. You know, it's the same thing with this whole healing and everything, like, Okay, you take a one-day cleanse, or you take a compound or a supplement or something like that that's good for your health. That's cool, but I'm saying, like, it has to be a lifestyle. 
Like, I'm, it doesn't have to. I'm just saying, like, it helps and it makes the most sense because you start realizing, oh, you know, like, for me personally, I'm taking accountability. You know, I went 20 years of a lot of sodas every day, a lot of fast food every day, a lot of french fries, a lot of chicken fingers, a lot of chicken tenders, a lot of steak, a lot of shrimp, a lot of milkshakes and cheese and butter and starches and processed stuff, you know what I'm saying? Stuff with no real minerals, you know, stuff that ain't from the earth and the soil. So that was robbing my own body of minerals and nutrients, you know? So I got inspired to just, you know, realize, hey, every 35 days, our body makes new cells in our whole body, our organs, based on what we eat, what we consume. You know, so that made sense. I'm like, hmm, if I want 20 years of majority of 90 percent, you know, toxic food, then that means I need to go a good amount of time to reverse all that just to get myself to a youthful state. And then from then on, I'm having to build on top of that strength and density. You know, that's why self-discovery and self-evolution and all that stuff is so exciting, because you're seeing yourself, I'm seeing myself metamorphosize. Yeah, y'all like that, right? I'm seeing myself transform, you know, and fly. And it's not just a one day. I'm in it. It's a long, I'm here in the next day and the next day and the next day and the next day and the next day. It's like SpongeBob, you know, that's how I am. Time's infinity. You know, y'all gonna keep seeing me pop up over and over and over again. I'm not going nowhere. I know my rights. I know who I am. You know what I'm saying? I'm a kink. You know, the fact that I made it through this test, that's why I'm the chosen one. One of the chosen ones. I'm not better than nobody. You know, I'm not competing with nobody. I'm just declaring my authenticity. You know what I'm saying? I'm just declaring, you know, my vessel is checking into the game, is in the game, you know? Some people, they call themselves out, they counted themselves out. You know, they chose to be the victim. They chose to be the villain, you know. But that's probably why my mentor, Ralph Smart, he says, he was saying, um, what you can call it, you know, if you're vegan, this and that, you're the brave one. You know, you will be rewarded, this and that. Thanks. I appreciate that guidance, you know, because it makes sense. Sometimes you are. Sometimes I have been, like, the only one at the dinner table who's vegan many times i've been the only one at the dinner table that's been vegan you know with family with relationship partners you know with all types of people where i'm the only one you know and like there's a whole lot going on a whole lot of hoopla people who you think are the ones to ask for advice people who you think are the ones you know to learn from and you know are better than you and they're really just lost and competing and rushing around and racing and everything and honestly going through a lot of mayhem those are the same people who don't even care about veganism you know who don't even care about that and who failed the life test honestly those are the same ones who's giving up on stuff you know but me i guess that's why i'm the brave one because i actually chose to follow my heart and i realized uh, equality you know there's some people who stuck and it's superior, inferior stuff. You know what I'm saying? And that's why they stuck in bondage. That's why they stuck in their ego, you know? Because they counted themselves out or they counted other people out. You know, it's an imbalance of energy regardless. That's what I'm talking about, you know? But me, I've been, maintain- I've been maintaining and growing this um, homeostasis, literally, because that helps me to see equality, realize equality, you know? Perfect example. I'm actually grateful I went through toxic relationships because, like, when you're being gas, when, like, I've been gaslighted, I've been lied to, I've been just criticized and, you know, attacked, honestly. And it makes sometimes, of course, we we're, I'm remorseful. Of course, I've made my wrongs. Of course, I've even apologized. Of course, I've owned up to, you know, my flaws and everything. And at the same time, it helped me to stand up for me. You know what I'm saying? For my own freedom, you know, to realize my own rights. You know, sometimes we do got to take a time out, you know, but you liberate yourself when you realize, hey, guess what? I'm not about to let someone control me. I don't care if they're a relationship partner, 
if they're who, whatever, you know, I am uncontrollable, you know what I'm saying, I am free forever, and I am love, I am equal, you know what I'm saying, I am seeing things eye to eye, and that's the point I'm making, you know, like, a lot of times relationships is a whole bunch of control and everything, and like, you know, it goes around, flip-flop, one person thinks they're better than the other person, you know, and that's not healthy at all, because in ancient times, it was true equality, and it's always supposed to be true equality, you know what I mean, like, no matter what, no matter what, you know what I mean, okay, that's what love is supposed to be, where y'all just work things out, and y'all are able to be like, oh, okay, guess what, we recognize and value each other's true worth, like me, you know, when times got ugly, this and that, you know, we we jab into our ego, you know, saying, oh, I got you this, I got you that, you know, I did this for you, I did that, but guess what, don't none of that matter, you know, because you're supposed to be giving in the first place, plus, remind yourself, like, I remind myself, I've always been someone before I've ever been in any of these relationships I've ever been in, you know, I bought a car on my, on my own with cash, legitimately, officially, the title and everything on my own by myself, you know, with money that I earned from working at these jobs. I got an apartment and stayed all by myself for a year on my own by myself. You know, I've had, then I got into another, you know, another car with help from a partner, you know, you know what I'm saying? That's the only point. I'm just making a simple example, okay? Make sure you always realize that you have always been someone before and you will always be someone, no matter what, you know? That's one thing I'm reminding. And to see things equal, you know? Realizing, hey, sometimes there might be, you know, time for you to take a seat, a seat or whatever. But I'm done taking a seat, honestly. I, I see what's up. I'm keeping a peace. I'm free, you know, and like, I'm able to let go. I'm able to realize that it's all equal. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's people that keep holding on to stuff real heavy and real hard. They're the ones that, you know, y'all don't see anymore. They're the ones that's falling off the face of the earth, you know, stuck in bondage or whatever, because they hold on to so much heavy, tight, baggy energy. You know what I'm saying? And it's not good. But me, that's why I'm glad I went vegan, because you become so light, so, anyways, that's, come on, come on, come on, let's go, let's go, that's the only point I'm making, um, you know, it's all equal, you know what I'm saying, if things don't work out with this or that, with a so-called lover, partner, whatever, I know it stings, I know it burns, you know, but just move forward and realize, hey, it's their loss, it is their loss, I am the crown jewels, you know, I am the diamond, I am the king, you know, and for women, I am the queen, you know, like, it's equal, no matter what, I hope y'all realize that, we all need to realize that it's equal, ain't nobody better or worse, okay, it's all equal, so that's what helped me to gain peace, because a lot of times in this matrix, they want to try to make, put you in this inferior, superior, you know, skin color traps, oh, just because you're not dark, you're not good enough, or oh, just because you're not light, you're not good enough or, you know, just because you're light, you're, you're bad, you know, you're trash, you know, you're not good enough for all these different programs and scenarios that's dividing and causing so much problems in this planet. But when people can just, like I do, and what other amazing influencers of different skin colors, shapes, sizes, energies, countries, frequencies, they just are themselves on the love frequency, which is universal, you know, and they just accept themselves. We accept ourselves and boom, we're reaping the benefits of it, honestly, because of that, because of something so simple, but just realizing, hey, I'm not backing down to nobody. You know, I'm not coming at war. I'm coming in peace. And I'm saying, hey, you need to knock off your little ego and, you know, we can, we can move forward. You know what I'm saying? You're not going to hold, you don't hold no power over me. Nobody holds power over me. You don't control me. You don't hold power over me. You don't own me. You know, you're not better than me. So I'm a grown man. I'm a respectable, valid man. You know what I'm saying? So recognize it. And I have many people recognizing it. So thank you. Y'all take care. It's Eternal Authenticity Broadcasting Live. Peace.